What's going on guys? Welcome to Valheim. So this game actually just dropped a few days ago. I've been hearing a lot of really crazy stuff about it. Apparently it's another survival game. You guys know me for the survival games. We actually just started playing Raft along with Subnautica, along with Minecraft. So this channel is kind of known for su some survival games. So I figured this would kind of fit along with it pretty well. Um, this game is early access, so it's not really 100% complete. So hopefully throughout the duration of me uh, playing this game, you know, we'll see some more updates along the way and it'll see the game improve along the way. All right, let's go ahead and get the game started. I'm actually really excited. My friends were telling me about this game. It's like RuneScape mixed with Minecraft. Oh my God, look at me. Look fancy. Oh dude, I kind of like this dude. All right, we're gonna name this dude. Uh, what are we gonna name him? No, we're gonna name him Dingle. There you go. <laughs> Pinu Shire. There you go. That's a great city. Okay, let's go. I am expecting a lot of deaths. I've heard this game is actually pretty decently hard. Okay, we got some tech. We got some Star Wars looking techs coming up. Long ago, the Allfather Odin united the worlds. He threw down his foes and cast them into the tenth world, then split the boughs and held their prison to the world tree uh, and left it to drift unanchored in place of exile. For centuries, this world slumbered uneasily, but it did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of sight of the gods. When Odin heard his enemies were growing and once again in strength, he looked to Midgard and sent his Valkyries to score the battlefields for the greatest of their warriors. Dead to the world, they would be born again. Valheim. No, wait, Valheim? Isn't that where... It's something Vikingness, right? <laughs> Vikingness? Is that a... Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! Dude, that, that's a Valkyrie, all right. Look at me, I'm just flying in the wind, bro. I'm sure he's having a great time. Dude, this is absolutely terrifying. Oh, it's taking me down. Whoa. Oh, dude, dope. Hello. Oh, well met, huh? Jumpsies? Yeah, jumpsies. Skill improved, jump. <laughs> I really deserve that one. All right, sprint. I'm trying to learn the buttons. Apparently, this game is really good at telling you what to do next, but not how to do it. I guess we need to talk to this bird. Huggin, huh? Welcome to the 10th world, warrior. I am Huggin, sent here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They represent the forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. Okay, so yeah, Valhalla is where all Vikings go after they die in battle, right? I think, so apparently Valheim is the 10th world. I don't know what that means. I need to do some Googling after this. Uh, but I do know that a big part of this game is that, yeah, I did read that there's the certain bosses that you do fight, you're supposed to summon them, I think. And I guess that each one of these stones is where you summon them. Oh God, it disappeared. Okay, goodbye. Forever, I guess. Oh, oh, you bring tidings. I'll take your tidings. This stone is Vegsvisir. Oh, I hope I said that right. These magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin as signposts pointing toward the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Ichthyr, your first prey. Yeah, so this is the first boss. He is a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before attempting to defeat him. Okay. Bye, friend. <laughs> Dude, cool. Okay, so I know one thing for sure we need to start doing is building a base. Do we start Minecraft punching trees? Boom. <laughs> You do, I guess. What am I doing? Skill improved, unarmed. Oh, am I making my strength go up, I guess? Is this a skill? Oh, yes, I got wood. New items. Okay, cool. So anytime I get like new material, I can uh, make new items. It's dope. Okay, so let's keep beating these things down. Nice, nice. Thank you, thank you. What is that sound? Oh my God, what is that? Hello, Grayling? I'm gonna hit you in the back, bitch. I'm gonna F him up, dude. You came to my neck of the woods. You came for me. Come here. Boom. We killed him. Did that do anything for us? I guess not. That was kind of easy. <laughs> well, Mets, what are you doing here? Take stock of your inventory. Most items must be crafted. However, due to your recent departure from Midgard, you will have to recall the true shape of objects. Just pick things up and it will all come back to you, I'm sure. My lesser brother, Moonin, uh, tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wooden stone. Okay, bet. Well, is this stone? Yes. I'm already really digging this game. It's kind of dope. It reminds me of RuneScape. 
but like Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, apparently we're in like the easy area. If we venture out too far, we'll definitely run into some very intense beings. Apparently this game gets really hard very fast, so we need to be wary of that. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh, another thing, I don't know if you guys can see that. If you guys can see that the wind, that actually, those little white streaks right there, that actually plays a really important part in this game. Um, so apparently there is such thing as like scent. You can also hunt in this game. So if you're hunting like a deer or something and you're like downwind of the wind, uh, the deer will run away without having to look at you because it can, it can smell you. I can smell you. Another thing I've figured out. So I did, I did do a little bit of looking up stuff uh, before I started. And one of the things I found out was that food is actually a way you can increase your health and stamina. I think it's one of the only ways you can increase your health and stamina. Um, but apparently, like, if you eat certain foods before you fight certain things, you'll be able to uh, better, better equip them. Hello, do you want to talk to me or something? What's up? Hail Warrior. A tasty morsel. You found a snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. There you go. He just told us. Be aware that before long you will grow hungry again, so try to always have at least a couple of different meals ready. Okay, so we definitely should have enough rocks. Let's make this uh, axe. Stone axe. Craft it. So we now have the stone axe. Boom! Wood cut. Okay, dude, there's like wood cutting levels. Dope! Okay. What do I do with this now? Oh! Okay, I guess I keep chopping it up. I want the raspberries though. How about you give me those, huh? I don't know if we want to build a house. Hey, there's a deer right there. I'm gonna take your baby. That's what we do. I'm taking your, I'm taking you. Damn it. Ah, it's a waste of time. Don't do it. Don't do it. Waste of time. There you go. Oh my God. Definitely worth it though. Oh my God. Look at all that wood. Heck yeah, dude. Hopefully we can start building a house now. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I like this clearing over here. We might go ahead and just make a house over here. Ah, he ran away. Come here. Oh, I got him. Ooh, look at that blood, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, leather scraps. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, dude, this is a... Whoa. It looks like there's already a hut here. Are there bees in here? Oh, shit. What is that? Feathers? Yeah, I'll take feathers. I don't know if I want to hit that or not. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, I don't. Uh, uh. Okay, that's not our house. <laughs> yeah, right here. It's a little bit flatter right here, so it'll be nice. Okay, this is our new home. All right, let's see what we can make here. We can make a hammer. Hey, birdie back. What up, birdie? You bring tidings. You have a crafted a hammer. With this tool, you will raise mighty halls and towering fortifications. Start by building a workbench. This, in turn, will enable you to construct other things. Okay, cool. What up, dude? You back? Back with good tidings. Damn, we can make so much stuff. <gasps> we can make a bow. Oh, dude, look at all this stuff we can make now. Hell yeah. What up, birdie? You have built a workbench. The workbench allows you to craft complex items as well as giving you access to a lot more building pieces to construct with the hammer. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's build that ish, huh? What is this thing? This is a little bit different. Heed these words of Ulf. A poor settler in a strange land. You will find here good stone and wood. All you need to build a house. You will need to craft a roof to keep out the rain. Then you will need the walls to stop the roof from falling down. Finally, you must have a door or it will be much harder to get in and out. Okay, I guess that's a way of telling us build a fucking house. I guess we will. There we go. Nice. We got plenty of wood now. Let's see if we can finish out this house. It is getting dark too. Whoa! Whoa! I guess that's the Yggdrasil, which is, I think, the world tree. Um, they didn't call it the Yggdrasil in this game. That's, I just know that from God of War. Get in the boy. Hello there. General Kenobi. Boy. But still, I didn't even realize that before. That's awesome. I mean, I guess that'll do for now. <laughs> We've got at least a little bit of something. I guess we're going to need some more wood, too. I'm going to try and build this up a little bit taller. One eternity later. Damn, why is everything... Whoa. Everything just got so foggy so fast out of nowhere. What happened? Spawn point set. Thank God. Dingle's bed. Okay, so it works. We got this all working now. Uh, yeah, we'll take that wood. Heck yeah. All right, cool. This probably doesn't need to be in here, but it's going to stay in here, bro. Use the workbench. Okay, so I want to make a, a crude bow, but in order to make a crude bow, I need leather scraps. The only way I can think of doing this is to go after boar. So let's go find some boar. Boom, got him. Boom, we just got... Oh! Oh, he hits back. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's cool. He's cool. Okay. I was like, Dave, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, dude, am I going to hit it? I hit it. Oh, I got it. Damn. Woo, dude, I didn't think I was going to be able to get that thing. 
I will fucking destroy your bloodline! I actually snuck up on it. Raw meat, deer hide. Dude, nice. Whoa, a bird? I want to kill it. I really want to get that bow. Oh, dude, look at this creek. Get out of my way. This creek is beautiful and you're ruining it. Oh, you can swim. What's this? Flint. Oh, dude. Oh, my God, dude. That's going to help so much. Okay, cool. Damn, dude, we're making some progress. Look at how beautiful this place is, man. God bless. What are those things? You're a foe. You're definitely foe. Oh, dude, what did I do to you? Oh. Neck tail. Okay, is that a food or something? Okay, I'm not really looking for those guys. Damn, there's so much cool stuff to explore in this game. Another thing I haven't even mentioned yet, this world is absolutely massive. Like, if I were to scan out into the whole map, which I can't yet, I guess I can later on, you can kind of see a little bit of the map over there in the corner. But I've seen a map online. This map pretty much covers like an entire world worth of map. Okay, I don't see any more boar. I need to kind of keep looking around for it. You know what? Let's go try and make this new weapon, actually. Because now that we have this flint, I want to see if I can make that like spear. Craft it. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Our first second weapon. Nice. Come on. Oh, God. He's hurting. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, baby. Is this dandelion? I don't know what the dandelion's for, but we'll go ahead and take it. I don't see any more boar around here. It's getting dark. I think I've decided what I'm going to do next. This may be a death wish, but I kind of want to try out the bosses. At least try them out for the first episode, am I right? So we're going to go to sleep in here. And once day comes, we're going to go up there, eat as much food as we possibly can, and attack the first boss and just see what happens. Good morrow. Okay, so let me get everything prepared here. So I want to go ahead. What does this do? I don't know what the mushroom does to me. Okay, we just ate it. Oh, well. Oh, well. All right. Uh, oh, I thought it was going to spawn him. Okay, so I have to go to him? You bring tidings, huh? You have found the summoning place of one of the Forsaken. Make the correct offering at their altar and they will come. Be wary, though. The Forsaken are not easy prey, so craft a wicked weapon. Don your finest armor and eat a hearty meal before engaging in combat. I, I, I think I'll be okay. Um, what does it say? What? Hunt his kin? Incomplete offering. Deer trophy, one out of two. Oh, we need two. Okay. Do we need two deer heads? Okay, let's go kill a deer real quick, I guess. Here's one. Is it a deer or is that a boar? That's a fucking rock. I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> I thought it was an animal. Well, back at the fucking base. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I guess we're definitely going to need like a bow and arrow to be able to get those deer because I'm not having any luck. I don't know how the hell I killed those other deer before. I guess my stealth skills were just on point at that moment. But we're going to go ahead and end the episode for the day. I think what we're going to do like we did with the other games we started this week is if I get five likes on this video, um, I'll go ahead and make a part two. So please give this a like. I want to do a lot more get, uh, episodes on this game because it is just so cool and I feel like we just barely scratched the surface. Um, and definitely on the next episode, we'll be facing off against that boss, at least attempting to. But yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Also, check out my merch. Link in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.